The Pinyon Juniper community, um, as it grows in size, the trees get bigger and the bare ground uh, increases between the trees and it sustains uh, less livestock and less wildlife because we have less forage produced. There's different types of brush management, but the particular type that we've done here, the grinding, um, we like specifically because we leave uh, dry matter on the ground that eventually gets incorporated into the soils. It increases the organic matter. You see more diversity of plants, shrubs, and forbs that we didn't have here before. Typically, when the trees are closer together, there's more bare ground and more of a monoculture underneath. And Therefore, it sustains less wildlife and less livestock. The brush treatment that they're doing with the mulch piles and you know establishing good areas for regrowth is kind of the path to a healthier, a better, a stable soils. Which is when the, you have a good uh, cover on the range. It slows down uh, mainly here. There's a lot of wind erosion, but also when it does rain, it holds the rain in place. It doesn't run off. The soil is uh, more porous and infiltration rates increase the amount of water that um, gets deeper into the root systems. Um, making grass communities multiply is all hinged on the amount of moisture that the roots get and how much the microorganisms get to produce uh, usable nutrients for the grass roots themselves for grass regeneration. When they do the brush treatments, uh, they eliminate a lot of the trees that take a lot of the moisture and nutrients away from the grasses. Now when the grass cover comes back, it's gonna be a, a better carpet and it's gonna be a better absorber of, of rain and a retention of moisture. Uh, aiding, and you have a stable uh, ped like this, the microbes are, uh, there's millions of microbes here. The microbes aid in breaking down their minerals for the uptake for the roots. And that's an important thing because if you don't have any moisture, you're going to have very few microbes uh, aiding in creating uh, a healthy uh, nutrient uptake for the plants. And also the wind control, of course we get a lot of winds in northern Arizona in the spring. Uh, this will help uh, keep that surface where your organic matter is concentrated from blowing away and ending up somewhere 100 miles north of here. As you see we're already we're in a bedrock situation here where the soil is really shallow. So whatever moisture is going to be here is going to go that deep and that's as far as it's going to go until it hits cracks and fractures in the rock, in the bedrock. And we're standing here on a recently completed project where we've come in and removed uh, a bunch of the juniper trees that were here. The reason we need to do this is over the last 100, 150 years, juniper trees and, and trees in general have increased substantially. Uh, we refer to it often as invaded into what used to be grasslands. Sometimes there was a few trees there, but we increased the number of trees. And what that's done, it's had a negative impact on, on the habitat for those species that like grasslands. Uh, one of those that we really key on here in northern Arizona is the pronghorn antelope. And what happens is, is um, there are species that's evolved over the years to, uh, to run away from their um, predators and so they like to be able to see long distances.
increase the trees they can't see and so therefore they they no longer go into that area like they would have in the past and it reduces the amount of habitat we also have a lot of elk in this area so we're trying to design this practice to help the elk as well um, and so you'll see that they're not all the trees have been removed in fact there's an island of trees behind me you know before um, settlers came into the country there was a lot of natural lightning strikes that would you know cause fires and they would burn a small area maybe a few thousand acres maybe even bigger than that maybe only a few hundred maybe only 20 30 acres and so without somebody coming in and stopping those fires it was done naturally the trees were kept either not in there at all or, or a lot less of them well in this arid environment you know there's limited water so when you have a lot of trees just to sustain those trees they use most of the water and therefore you don't get a lot of understory but when you remove the trees obviously that precip is available for other uh, other things that are growing so you increase the productivity of the understory and also this uh, slash that's left holds the moisture under the soil so that uh, it doesn't evaporate as much and also reduces and minimizes erosion, wind and water erosion. I think this land was uh, meant to be used to produce, uh, produce something for our communities and uh, we use it to produce beef. We use the sunlight and the forage to produce beef for uh, local communities as well as feed the world. The ranchers are very good stewards of the land and a lot of times they'll need uh, general information to uh, maybe make things better for the next generation.